What is up guys, back again for Poke Vlog 4, just waiting for our food here before we start the session. And as you can see, we are back at our favorite casino, Aspers. Looking forward to play some poker after a long week, hoping to build on last week and not replicate the same mistakes. First hand for the vlog, we look down at Kings. The five pound straddle is on and it's folded to us in early position. We raise to 10 pound, hoping to get raised here. However, it folds all the way to the big line who calls and the straddler folds. Two ways, flop comes, nine of hearts, queen of hearts, two of hearts. Hard to flop badly with kings heads up, but on this board, thankfully, we have a heart. Villain checks to us. We bet about third pot, hoping to keep him in the hand. He calls and we get to see a turn, which is the jack of clubs. Villain checks to us again. I think we are ahead. I decide to bet 20 pound now as the board becomes more connected. I think the bet is mainly for value, but some need for protection too. Villain calls, which is pretty interesting. The river is another jack now of hearts so we upgrade to a flush but on a board where a flush is now slightly less valuable as the board has paired for potential for houses that being said i think we should be ahead still so i bet again 25 but now villain reaches for more chips as he raises to 75 ah uh. For £50 more though, I just put it in and he shows pocket nines for a full house to have us beat. Now that I look back at his hand, it is actually an easy fold. When I ask myself the question, what worse hand is he free betting with in this spot? So this was a good spot to reflect on and hopefully there's some value in sharing it despite it not going our way. We uncover another premium, this time Jax. It folded to us in early position, so we raised to £15. We go four ways, flop comes, nine, seven, five, with two hearts and one club. I'm first to act, it's a good flop for us as we have an overpair, but we are multi-way, the board is a bit wet, so I want to charge any draws. I bet 35, which on this board texture in a multi-way pot, maybe on the larger side, anyway, two players to my left, they call and the imposition player folds. So now three ways onto the turn, which is the nine of hearts. Now if someone had a top pair before, they are upgraded to trips. I'm out of position, I decide to check now as I wasn't expecting two callers from my immediate left on the previous street and feel they could be quite strong. Ends up checking all the way around though. The river is the queen of hearts, not the card we wanted to see. I no longer have an overpair, so my plan is to just check fold to any bet. So I check, player to my left bets 60, last player to act eventually tank folds, which ends up being the right decision as our play on our left turns over a full house. In the next hand, we pick up Ace King off. We're in early position. I end up raising it up 5x to 10 pound. It ends up folding all the way to the big blind who thankfully ends up making the call. The flop now comes four, five, ace with two spades. Very favorable flop for us. Villain checks, I think with an ace on the board, it is a mandatory C bet as it hits our range, raising out of position pre-flop. So quickly C bet for half pot. Now villain raises to 50. There's no way we can fold, of course, so we make the call to see a turn, which is a clean one. It is a king grading us to a two pair. We are happy it's not a dirty spade, which could be what the opponent is chasing with a polarizing draw in hand. Villain now thinks for about 20 seconds, then moves all in for my remaining chips, putting me in a bit of a tough spot now. If I make the wrong call here, I would have to drive all the way home, but you don't get fine poker without risk. I couldn't fold as the only hand that he is representing that likely beats us is a set of fours or fives. I thought he could also be making this play with a big draw in hand or possibly even a two pair that I beat. So after rationalizing, we find the call and the river ends up being a three. So it's the end of our session. As you see, We put the spot into a sim, but we can't be results orientated in poker and should just be happy to make the right call. Although that wasn't quite my mindset at the time. I think I might have to take a few weeks off and just focus on study. 
tomorrow. In the first hand of session two, we have pocket nines in the big blind. On our immediate right is sitting a player who's out to have a good time. He was an action player. He raises out of the small to 17. We call and the limper in early position calls as well. Flop comes, jack four, jack rainbow. Small blind now C bets to 25. We know he likes to play, so we call hoping he doesn't have a jack. And the limper in early position folds. So two ways, turn is a six of clubs, bringing in the second flush draw. But now small blind slows down and checks, making us believe we are winning. So we bet 35, mainly for value. He makes the call. The river is a three of diamonds. He checks again. The three doesn't complete any of the flushes, but we end up checking back though, as we're not sure what worse hands he would be calling with. We flip over and end up taking this one down and we are back to winning ways. Opponent ends up telling us he had two clubs. In this hand, we are seven handed. Under the gun limps, low jack folds, high jack raises to 15, cut off folds, the button calls, and we try not to look too excited and raise to 75 pound as we are looking down at pocket kings. Undergun Limper has about 45 remaining. He goes all in. The initial raiser folds and the button calls. So three ways with a side pot. The flop comes 446 with two hearts. I think that's a flop that does a good job at preserving our equity. Nonetheless, we still see bet for 100 for value to charge two heart combos or lower pocket pair hands. Unfortunately, button doesn't see his hand fit enough to call. He folds. Now it's heads up with under the gun who's all in we are just hoping to fade an ace on the run out now the turn is the eight of spades and the river is the nine of diamonds so we turn over and we are good and we drag a decent one in in the penultimate hand of this vlog we stare down at nine eight of spades on the button it got raised to 15 pound by the low jack where there is sitting a seven days a week poker pro slash landlord i happen to have a bit of history with this player and no he is capable of making good reads if you check out the jack 10 of diamonds hand from poker vlog 3 you see him making a good bluff against me anyway the cut off calls and we call three ways the flop comes eight six three two spades really good flop for us top pair with a chance to improve pre-flop aggressor now c bets 35 cut off calls we call although i think there could be a case for raising here and polarizing the turn is the queen of hearts it doesn't improve us and if anything i think it better hits the range of the pre-flop aggressor or cut off now the pre-flop aggressor bets around half pot for 75. the cutoff now folds we calculate we need about 25 percent equity to call i believe we're getting that so i call plus there are implied odds if there is improvement on the river the river is an ace of clubs villain checks for the first time in a live poker session in a large pot i'm seriously considering bluffing i think to myself i have around 350 behind if i rip it in will he fold the check on the river just looks weak however what could i be representing if i ripped it in perhaps at best ace eight of spades then i remember villain is a poker pro and could probably sniff out the bluff so for that reason i regretfully make the fold let me know if you think a bluff in this spot would have been a good play villain turns over pocket jacks and i feel i should have bluffed but we move if i bet half pot would you have folded no, make now on to the final hand of this session which ended up being a six-handed bomb pot we are currently about 100 pound behind in the session so this bomb pot can get us unstuck as you can see it's not the best of starts when we get put in the small blind so when the board comes four of hearts jack of hearts two of clubs we just hope we can hit it hard we hope we can have two high heart cards i'm not even gonna take away from my turn you see your face in the reaction cheeky poker players it's not really a very Maybe exciting gonna flop fold at home I bet. The two fours at the end there came out of nowhere, so we make the bet from early position. Ends up going four ways, praying to fade a heart now. Turn is the boom. Oh, I won. You got a boat? No, fours? it's better. Yeah, I got fours. Okay, four. Upgrading us to quads, so we let everyone know we've won. 
and we dragged this one in to end the session on a high luckily this bomb pot got us unstuck